Hello everyone. I am Dr. Baba Yana Kumar, professor in Krishna Jayanti College, Bangalore, in Karnataka. I am going to give introduction about the entrepreneurship course, which is going to be offered by BCom program. It is a skill-based course offered for BCom degree. Swami Vivekananda quoted, All power is within you. You can do anything and everything. He is a visionary who portrayed the entire young Indians in those days. Based upon that view, this course has been designed with the futuristic vision to identify your risk-taking ability in establishing a venture. The main objective of the course is to understand the stages of the entrepreneurial process. The course has three levels of cognitive measurement as course outcomes. The first course outcome is to understand the business forecasting system. The second course outcome is to recognize the business ideas. The third course outcome is to interpret the business plan. So after completing this course, you are able to achieve all these three course outcomes. There are five modules in this course. Each module is having its own learning outcome. The first learning outcome is to understand the nature of entrepreneurship. The second one learning outcome is to understand the functions of the entrepreneur. Next one, the learning outcome is confirm an entrepreneurial business idea. Next learning outcome is to identify personal attributes that enable best use of entrepreneurial opportunities. And the last learning outcome is to explore entrepreneurial leadership and management style. There are five units in this course. First unit includes the introduction and different types of entrepreneurship in India. In this unit, you will study the dimensions of entrepreneurship. The second unit is based upon Indian business values. In this unit, you will study the contemporary role models in Indian business and their values, their business philosophy and behavioral orientations. Third unit consists of networking of entrepreneurs. In this unit, you will study the role and functions of business incubators, angel investors, venture capital, and private equity funds. Fourth unit consists of business plan and its feasibility of introducing. In this unit, you will study the significance of writing the business plan and the contents of the business plan 
and its own project. Last unit consists of the resource mobilization. In this unit, you will study how to mobilize the resources for startup. Totally in this course, it has been designed for 50 hours. It will go through for 10 weeks. The lectures are based on identifying the intangible skills to do a venture. The assessments are based on skill. All are skill-based assessment including the assignment. The distribution of the marks are as follows. 75 marks for term and examination. 25 marks are allotted for the assignment based upon your internal marks. The internal marks 25 has been distributed like that. For scenario test, the marks are allotted for 10. We used to conduct three tests out of that best two test mark will be considered for scenario. Next part is multiple choice question. There will be two multiple choice tests out of that one mark will be considered. That is the best mark will be considered. The next component is simulation test. We used to conduct two simulation tests. Out of that, best will be considered for the assignment purpose. Last component is the business plan writing. A small business plan will be given in the form of assignment. You have to prepare the business plan. These are all the components of the assessment. The mission of this course is to create young creative entrepreneur. I hope you are able to progress in this course. We will meet virtually in the class. Thank you once again.